When using dial indicators to perform shaft alignment, one often overlooked element is compensating for rod sag. Practically all dial indicator rods have a certain amount of sag or deflection. When the dial indicator is at the 12 o'clock position, the weight of the dial indicator, attachments, and the rod itself causes the indicator to sag toward the coupling. When the indicator is rotated to the 6 o'clock position, the weight causes the indicator to sag away from the coupling. Rod sag normally has little to no effect on horizontal measurements, since the downward sag does not pull the indicator toward or away from the coupling. The amount of deflection is influenced by two factors. The longer the rod, the greater the deflection, and the heavier the dial indicator, the greater the deflection. Rod sag can adversely affect alignment and is a major source of discrepancy between dial values and laser values. Fortunately, you can compensate for rod sag. Checking for rod sag. Assess where you will mount your fixtures and measure the distance from the fixture to the dial. Mount the bracket on a piece of rigid pipe at the distance you will need on the machine. We measure sag on a pipe rather than on the shafts, so the amount of sag is not confounded with the amount of offset misalignment. Zero the dial at the 12 o'clock position, then rotate to 6 o'clock. The indicator should be reading a negative number. This is the amount of rod sag. Compensating for rod sag. After the sag has been determined, the dial set can be mounted on the machine to be measured. If you're using the Fixture Laser Dials app, input the amount of sag and the app will factor it into the alignment calculations. If you are not using an app with sag compensation, you can manually compensate by positioning the dial at the 12 o'clock position and setting the dial positive to the amount of sag measured. Pro tip. Every dial set has a different sag property. You may want to create a sag chart for each of the different length rods in your dial kit so you don't have to check for rod sag every time you do an alignment.